Good luck. What is up, everybody? It is Smirks, your friendly neighborhood Barrack Main here, playing some like Fernando today. Team, I'm going to be using the Fantastic build, which is my main build, mainly because I love that cooldown on <sighs> Fireball, because I just love throwing that out. Especially since we're against a Ying, I want to get as much anti-healing as possible. And I think I'm finally getting the hang of Fernando. I think it took me it took me long enough. Um, I don't know, just because he's so different from every other character, because he's like, I don't know if he, he doesn't classify as melee, but he has such a short, I don't know. Every, usually my problem is, when I first started playing Fernando was, I would just run in, take a bunch of damage, because I'm a tank, and just be like, ha ha ha, I'm a tank, and then I die, and then I get mad. But, uh, yeah. I think I finally got it figured out, and I want to show you guys, uh, just, just some, some tips, some strats. If you guys have any tips for me as you're watching this video, please let me know, because, uh, I'm always striving to get better. My next focus, I really want to get better at damage champs, because my... My aim isn't very good. Like, I'm, I'm not good at, like, consistently getting headshots or anything like that. I've never played CSGO or anything like that. I'm only a TF2 player and a MOBA player that just happened to find a game he loves and be okay at it. We've got this guy behind us. I'm going to try to take her down. The sky buff. What do I think about the sky buff? I like it. I think it's definitely what she needed. I don't think she's OP or anything. And another thing. Um, our team has a Tyra. They have a Tyra. And I know I made a video that I was very critical of Tyra earlier. Um, I think, I, I still think her damage is a little stupid. I, I think her, uh, her Molotov could be scaled down a bit just because I get it. She doesn't have any peel or a way to escape, but come on, dude. Why does she have that much AOE? Either way, I actually really like her. Um, I still think she should have recoil though, but like, I, then again, I think every character on Paladin should have recoil because it's, I feel like it's just non-existent in this game. Gonna push up left. We're gonna lose this point. I've just come to accept that. I, I just fat fingered my dash. I apologize for that. In case you're wondering, why did he go in there? Okay. The other thing. I, I think in this patch, shields are bugged because... I, I've noticed on all of my front lines, I've been taking damage when I clearly have a shield blocking it. There we go. Take you out. I thought you could be cheeky. And we got healing on our shield. That's one of the cards in my deck that I really, really love. Anytime I need a heal, I just throw that out and it heals me up to 50%. And this Grover, man. This Grover. He's doing the Lord's work. Alright, so this right here, this is a great place that if you're as a team, my team's all grouping up here, which I really, really like. This is one of the things I always talk about when I'm coaching. If you can pinch them right there on Ice Mines, I mean, Ice Mines is usually a map that most most competitive or higher ranked teams don't play much because they don't really like it. This Ruckus Shield is messing me up, fam. Alright, I'm out. There we go, take out this EV. I got lucky. Throw that out, get that anti-heal there because I know that Ying is camping him. There we go. All right. <laughs> that's, that's an awfully long time to be mountained there. All right. We got a Yin coming in. The reason that this point is really good. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep going on little bunny trails of conversation where I'm just... You're probably getting really frustrated with me at this point. This point is incredible to hold, especially if you have a Fernando. Basically, it's at the point where if you have Fernando on your team... Uh, you can automatically hold a pinch point much better than anybody else. Throw out my ult to counter that ultimate and just keep throwing this out on him. Um, yes, Grover! Oh my gosh, I love you. Have my babies. This is <laughs> look at this guy getting body blocked. The other thing about these these uh because Fernando is so big that with that shield you can just body block people in these pinch points and hold it forever like my team's doing right now. The only way that they can push this is if my team gets out of position like we kind of did right there. But, I mean, obviously we got right back in position and we took out two of them. As long as we can keep them on the outside of cabin. That's the other thing. That room is called cabin and then on the other side is stage. So if you ever hear anybody in Discord say stage or cabin, and then tunnel is the lower one and then hallway is the upper one. I don't know if all teams use that, but the majority of the guys that I've talked to have all used the same callouts. And it took me a while because I was super confused because I was just like, dude, there are hallways everywhere on this map. What hallway are you talking about? <laughs> Why is she not dead? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna die here. Going down to Molotov because, like I was saying earlier, Molotov is stupid. And the good thing is, I can pick up Tier 1 and 2 Haven, so this should be able to make me stay in the fight a little longer, and I should be able to 
hopefully this can turn the game a little bit for us. We'll, we'll definitely be able to hold this point, which is great. And I think now that I have uh, Haven 2 and Barrick and I both have Master Riding, I think if we spread out a little bit, if we split up, if I go mid, he goes cabin, or I go cabin, he goes mid, I'm going to wait to see what he does. Because, yeah, if we spread out, that's two shields spread out, so our team has more options of flanking with protection, which is always a good thing. Especially when you're not in comms, because this is casuals, everybody's rando. You know, same old, same old. I'm going to try to put some videos of me playing competitive up soon. The only thing is, I'm, I'm still relatively new to this game, and I want to master more champs before I start, like, really, really grinding competitive. So far, I've gotten everybody to platinum except for Barrick. He's at, he's masters. But yeah, my, ne my next champ on the list is Tyra, because honestly, I, I really like her kit. Um, I don't I don't like her mobility. She's slower than my grandma. All right, see there Barrett goes cabin forces them out there I go mid just grab the point automatically and they are behind me. Oh my gosh. All right I'm standing in a Molotov, but we got a barrack out here Shoot this guy down And we should be able to with ruckus down. We should be able to take this point pretty easily just because ruckus is their only front line And even then ruckus is not the best front line to have solo ruckus plays more like a it kind of reminds me of Tyra. He's just an immobile damage dealer. Like, just straight up damage all the time. But if he gets caught out, it's pretty... And also, the other thing is, if you're playing against a Ruckus, make sure you take that capture point and zone him out, because that's that's a, a third of his kit, excluding ult, that he can't use right there. Since he has that extra shield. His strongest shield is the one that he gets only when he's on an objective. That's a Ying ult. I'm just going to kill her so that... There we go. The ult is despawned. I'm gonna hide behind this because I hear the ruckus ult and I have my ult in case my team needs it But they're all being super smart ruckus chose a horrible place to ult because my team just ran into corners Bop you in the face. All right Tyra ults down. We can force her out. There we go Great job team. I'm liking this team I don't even know these guys and I like them Let's charge up here. I want to get a shield out for Androxus so that he doesn't have to deal with Eevee too much Missed my anti-heal. It's no big deal, though, because we have the numbers advantage, so they have to run back anyway. And, I mean, if they did run in, we would have killed them. So, either way, it's a win-win, which is pretty sweet. I'm still holding on to my alt in case uh, something bad happens again. Yeah, like this. Because I'm in a Molotov, and I panicked. There we go. Kill this Ruckus. Kill this Ruckus. Kill this Ruckus. Kill this Ruckus. All right. All right. All right. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Grover's coming with me. What a wonderful guy. I love this man. And, and I think the, the thing that I needed to learn and figure out was that... Uh, uh, hello? Do you have ult? What are you doing here? Where did, all right. Nobody has resilience. I don't, I don't know where she went. We're just going to look around in circles for a while. And Ruckus... Okay, if you're that Ruckus, don't do that. Don't go up there. That's, a, that's probably the worst position for a frontliner to be unless you're Barrack and you're just going up there to throw out a turret. Because... Number one, it's not going to count against the enemy team pushing. It's not going to stalemate them. All it's going to do is just make you a sitting duck. Because we have to... Well, speaking of sitting ducks, I'm a total sitting duck right there. All right, we got Haven 3. I, I should be... This should be hopefully my last death. Uh, let's see if we can keep it that way. Um, if I don't, I'll buy you a soda. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I don't have any money. Also, I don't know you or know where you live, so kind of complicates things, you know? Eevee, okay. Uh, no need to even worry about Eevee. She's just trying to go back and, like, spawn campus. She's going to die soon. All right. This guy should be taken out. Let's. Let, we're going to try to flank right. I want to see if, hopefully, people are following me. Are you following me? Okay, they're back there. Okay, so if they're over there, that means that the other team is going to be distracted by them. Yep, and they are. So I'm just going to distract them. Focus down this Yang, because I've noticed that... Ruckus only stays alive when Ying's alive in this game so far. So get the anti-heal on him. I'm probably gonna, well, actually, I might die again. Yeah, I'm gonna die again. Um, hello? <laughs> okay, we're just, we're just gonna hang out here in our little hidey hole. Get the healing proc up. Oh, look at these guys. They are asking for it. Oh, but there's a Ruckus ult, so I can't really aggress. That's unfortunate. See if we can get this Ying down. Ying, 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 die. Okay, all right. Throw out my ult once again because Eevee's going to bop me, and I know that I have a Grover here. Hopefully he can heal me. Heal me? Heal me? Hey? Well, I'm kind of running away from him. 
there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is <laughs> this this guy thinks she's a front line, I swear. Just keeps running right in. Um also, why is this tooltip still up there on the right? That I haven't had these tooltips since like my first week of playing this game. Why are they back? OB40, you crazy. I also found a new interesting, I don't know if it's a bug or something they didn't ma- oops. Well, that's my fault. We weren't going to get it anyway simply because we were still waiting for some people to come. We should be able to win this game though, considering how dominant that was, and I'm assuming we have a pretty big credit advantage at this point. I this guy can deal a lot of damage up close. Really? Wow, create some distance. Hard to create some distance when she's running right at you, you know what I'm saying? Alright, yeah. So that's our battle plan I just put it in team chat. I'm gonna try to dive Ying, dash through Ruckus, block all his stuff with my shield, because Ying Ying's just like, help me kill Sky. Dude, you don't need help killing Sky. She kills herself Five, this game. Four, three, two, All right. One. All we gotta do. <laughs> yeah. I will kill them all. Your skill is impressive. Okay, so Barrick's going there. I'm gonna go cabin and just get him out here. I'm getting low on health. I'm going to get low on health. I recognize that. Like... As soon as I ran in there, I knew I'm going to take the negative, but I knew that Grover had ult because I looked at my tab menu. And here's, okay, Ruckus. Stay in this corner. Ying. Oh, a two for one. There we go. Oh, okay, that was a little late. Ignore that. Ignore that. All right, just going to get this out so he can't hit this. Do you see that? I'm taking damage. How am I taking damage? Another thing I noticed, I don't know if this was a nerf or anything like that, but... Barrick and Mokoa, their shields have a cast time that can be interrupted now. So, like, I noticed it when I was throwing out my barricade as I was playing a couple games of Barrick yesterday. I, I would I'd throw down my turret barricade combo, you know, like you do. And I can't just, like, tap the buttons right one after another anymore. I have to wait a little bit longer, which is really frustrating. Body block for my Fernand- or er, blah, 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 Sylvanas, I mean Grover. Wrong game. Wrong game. Oh my gosh. I'm scatterbrained right now. I got too excited about that point cap. <laughs> this, is, this sky! Uh, I should, probably should have ulted there. I, um, that was late. Once again, ignore that. This is, this is a learning process. We're in the process. Throw out my shield because the majority of my team is behind me. There we go. I'm just going to shoot up when my dash is up because I know that they can flank right. Tyra has no escape. I don't know why he's focusing a Ying over a Tyra. Oh, boy. I bet that Droxus' butthole is very clenched right now. And Sky. This this Sky, dude. I, this so lit, dude. What is going... Oh, and that's an Eevee ult. I got crippled from it, but it's okay because, uh, yeah, well, Eevee's probably going to die. Wow. Talk about really lucky timing. I <laughs> hit her right as Ice Block was done. Go over here. Just take you out real quick. There we go. Just call me the custodian. Because all I can do is clean up. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. I'm doing it again. Okay. Sky, seriously. You'd think you'd learn your lesson by now. Stop diving the front line. Oh, my God. There's a ruck assault, throwing out the shield, and that's GG. Well, all right, as we take a look at the scores and rewards, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.